Alright, here's a question that's probably crossed your mind. Why doesn't a bicycle fall over when you're riding but tips right over when you stop? Sounds like sorcery but it's all physics. Let's break it down. When those wheels start spinning, they're not just rolling forward, they're acting like gyroscopes. Imagine spinning a top. The faster it spins, the harder it is to knock over. That's because of something called angular momentum. A spinning wheel wants to keep spinning in the same direction and it resists changes. That's the gyroscopic effect in action. But wait, there's more. The gyroscopic effect helps, but it's not the whole story. Even if your wheels aren't spinning very fast, or if you're on a crazy lightweight bike, you can still balance. How? By steering. When you steer your bike, you actually shift its center of mass back underneath you. It's like you're a tightrope walker and the handlebars are your balancing pole. Every tiny adjustment helps you recover your balance, keeping you upright on two skinny wheels. It feels instinctive, but it's really your brain, your hands, and the laws of physics working together, especially the conservation of momentum. So, next time you're cruising down the street, remember, you're balancing on the edge of physics. Gyroscopic forces, steering geometry, and momentum are all teaming up to keep you from toppling over. To her. That's why a moving bike stays up, and a still one, well, it just tips over. Pretty cool, right? Science is everywhere even in something as simple as a bike ride. D.